Disclaimer alert. Disclaimer alert. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe. As you can see, Bailey had a late night last night. But anyways, I've had a lot of questions asking about some more upper back exercises for stretching and strengthening. I have a video for Y's, T's, and I's on a Swiss ball, but if you don't have a Swiss ball, here's some exercises and stretches for you. Let's get started. The first stretch is just gonna be a thoracic upper back stretch with a chair. This one might be slightly too high. You might want something a little lower. It's gonna work okay for me. But just put your hands kind of behind your back and lean back. Just kind of stretching it out. Try and relax it if you can and hold it for about 30 seconds. Once you get that 30 seconds in, come on back up and do that three more times. Just stretching out and coming back up. The next ones are going to be on the floor. So next you're going to stretch out your chest or your pec muscles. If you have a foam roll, that works great. You can get it at probably Walmart, Amazon, anything like that. Just kind of get it underneath your back, just right along your spine. Come down a little bit so you can rest your head. And if they're really tight, just doing this, you might feel your stretch. If you don't feel much stretch with that, you can kind of straighten your arms all the way out. And don't let Bailey jump on you. Oh, she's coming in for a kiss. <laughs> now that Bailey's gone, we will proceed. So, as I was starting to do, if the just the elbows aren't enough then you can straighten your arms all the way out and just let it stretch hold it there for about 30 seconds if that's still not quite enough for you bring your arms up behind your head and then just let your elbows drop down this is a pretty big stretch so if it's actually painful don't quite go to this step yet if it's not painful it just feels really good then you can hold it here for 30 seconds and then come back up and then drop it back down again. Next, you're gonna roll over onto your tummy. If you have a towel or something, this is good to kind of protect your forehead so you don't get carpet forehead when you're lying down. This is just gonna be a tease and prone. This is the one where I have a video on the Swiss ball. So if you wanna be a little more advanced than this, you can get a Swiss ball and check out that video. Just put this right here on your forehead and put your arms straight out and then bring them up, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Hold it there for about two or three seconds and then slowly come back down. Try not to go quick and just drop them down, but come slowly up, hold it there and then come back down. So just doing about 10 or 15 of those, hold, 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 come back down and then work your way up to two to three sets. And the next one, I like to call the snow angels. This was shown to me from a PT friend named Phil when I was rehabbing my shoulder. So what you wanna do is you wanna have your elbows bent just a little bit, lying out flat, almost like you're getting ready to make a snow angel. You can put your legs all the way down or bend them up, but try and push your elbows and your hands down into the ground. And you're just gonna slide while you're pushing down up as far as you comfortably can without either one of them coming up. Once they start to feel like they're trying to come up, then come on back down. So pushing down, trying to keep your back down and everything nice and flat against the floor. Only do about 10 of these, maybe two sets of 10, but don't push these too much. The next one, another stretch, we call this long sit with your legs out in front of you and straight. You're going to roll your chest in and down and just punch your shoulders forward. Taking the fist and reaching it as far as you can and curling. You want there to be a curl in your back. So dropping everything down, stretching, holding it for about 30 seconds and then coming back up. The last exercise is bird dogs or quadruped. A lot of people call these bird dogs because it looks like a dog pointing at the birds. So basically, you're just gonna do your opposite arm and opposite leg. Keep your back nice and flat here. No arching down or up. And bring one arm out and one leg out. So opposite sides, nice and slow. Try and keep it controlled going out 
and coming back in. If you have to, if you feel like you're coming down and dropping really quickly or having to move quick to come back down, you're probably not quite ready for these yet. So just start with about five to 10 on each side and then work your way up from there. So there you have it. As you can see again, Bailey's worn out from all the exercises we just did. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And if you'd like to check out some other videos and more pictures of cute Bailey, go to AskDrJoe.com. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.